We're back yet again, boys. It's time for some shady stuff. A.K.A. Shady Vanilla Cola by Temple Brighus. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to get to it. You want to try it out? So, first things first, their cans are always sexy. Big thumbs up. Okay, small thumbs, but still. Small pee pee, small thumb. Uh, all jokes are aside, let's give it a try. It's Coke, vanilla Coke, so I mean, that's good. It contains water, sugar, colorants. Yeah, let's try it. Wow, okay, so. <sighs> Sorry about that, pup. So. The main question here is, is it better than Coke Vanilla or Vanilla Coke? And the answer is, yes. I, it's almost sad that I had to think there for a minute. But, okay, so hear me out. Carbonation-wise, I give a bit of a slight advantage to this one. It's kind of similar in the carbonation to a Vanilla Coke. Taste-wise, here is the part where they differ. So, vanilla coke has... I wouldn't say a chemical vanilla flavor, but a very sharp vanilla flavor that gets masked by the carbonation. Here we get a more rounded, almost sweeter vanilla flavor than coke, which is, on its own, not that good maybe but in co in conjunction with near perfect carbonation of this one it actually works out i mean sure you can taste the sweetness because damn this is sweet it only contains 10 grams of sugar it tastes a lot sweeter than it actually contains or it tastes a lot sweeter than in comparison to the amount of sugar it actually contains, if you get what I mean. Is it worth the try though? Yeah, it is expensive. I bought this for, I think it cost me 16 crowns. So in that aspect, Coke's vanilla Coke is better seen to the fact that it's cheaper. However, this is solemnly worth a try, and it's one of the better vanilla coats I've had, in a while at least. So, yeah, on that note, Temple Brighus, Shady Vanilla, give it a try. Bye.